Panasonic's powerful AVC Ultra recording codecs are now available in a smaller handheld camera designed for ENG, documentary, and event style shooting. Let me introduce you to the AJPX270. Hi guys, I'm Mia. Panasonic's professional shoulder-mounted camcorders are standard in the world of broadcast media. They're engineered to deliver high-quality images with robust and flexible codecs. And you'll find lots of manual controls at your fingertips. Most work on P2 cards capable of handling high data rates. Professional cameras like this come with professional price tags. Enter the AJPX270. It's like Panasonic took its popular ENG design and shrank it. At roughly five pounds, with the battery attached, this camera is designed to be used handheld. It has three one-third inch CMOS sensors which produce sharp, detailed images. The low light performance on the PX270 in normal mode, it's not industry leading by any means, but this camera does have a high sensitivity setting that boosts the gain while engaging noise reduction. And it works well. It looks much less noisy than if you just boost the gain alone. The lens has a 22x optical zoom, which is the 35mm equivalent of 28 to 616 millimeters. You'll find two smooth zoom rockers, one on the top handle and the other on the hand grip. The preset zoom speed worked well for me for most situations, but you can switch both rockers to fast zoom if you want. This is good when you're just using the zoom to check critical focus. Both rockers produce very smooth zooms. The two places where this camera really shows its flexibility are in the recording formats and the media it accepts. AVC Ultra is a family of recording formats with lower data rates like AVC Proxy and Long G, plus high-end broadcast and commercial quality bit rates like AVC Intro 100 and even AVC Intro 200. Panasonic says an optional upgrade will be available for the AVC Intro 200 codec. For those higher bitrate formats, you'll need to work with Panasonic's proprietary P2 and micro P2 media cards. But make sure that you're familiar with each card series before buying because their data rates vary. Even though micro P2 cards look like SD cards, they capture footage at much higher data rates. The lower bitrate formats will work on cards that capture at lower data rates like SDHC or SDXC. The PX270 has one regular P2 card slot. You'll find two micro P2 slots for dual codec, simultaneous, or relay recording, plus one dedicated SDHC, SDXC card slot for proxy files. You can record to SD cards in the micro P2 card slots as well, but at lower data rates. If you're working with live equipment, maybe even live switching with other cameras, all the ports that you need are here. The PX270 has timecode in and out, gen lock in, 3G SDI output, and HDMI, which is great if you're working with a budget-friendly consumer monitor. You'll also find a USB 3.0 connector for high-speed file transfer with USB host capabilities. The USB 2.0 port and the LAN port are also included, and an optional USB dongle will give you wireless file transfer capabilities. Let's get into some really techie talk for a second. Gamma correction modes can be pretty important to pros, especially for documentary or film purposes. This camcorder features seven different gammas, including three new film-like choices. If you pair one of the film gammas with the high sensitivity setting and a frame rate of 24 frames per second, it'll give your footage a more cinematic feel. Film rec and video rec gamma options are pretty much unheard of at this price point, but the PX270 has them. And if you want complete control over the color in your image, you'll find a 12-axis matrix control with three skin tone configurations. Now you can see why I say this camera is built for professionals. To have all this flexibility in a handheld model is very attractive. And I haven't even mentioned the variable frame rates yet. The PX270 will let you shoot 1080p at 1 to 60 frames per second in 25 steps. It'll also shoot at 24, 30, and 60 frames per second. It has all the manual controls you'd expect from a professional workhorse camera, including manual focus, zoom, and iris rings on the lens. Four ND filters should have you covered for just about anything outdoors, and there's eight user buttons. 
And if you're working outside, the new OLED viewfinder is awesome. The 1.56 megapixel LCD monitor is a nice size too. It's big and really easy to see. Two professional XLR inputs are along the right side of the camera. One is in front for easy access with a shotgun mic, and the other is in the back. So it's a split audio design and the controls are in back. On the top handle, you'll find the second zoom rocker and a record button, which is especially handy for low angle shooting. Another small detail that can be very helpful when you're using accessories are both 3816 and quarter 20 mounting sockets on that handle as well. The Panasonic AJPX270 is a camcorder that satisfies the needs of both the broadcast shooter and the independent shooter. It has all the elements needed to deliver beautiful footage and all the control necessary to achieve the look you want. I'm Mia McCormick. Thanks for watching. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, BNH has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help. Scott Kelby here and welcome to this quick tour of our online training. We have hundreds of online classes for you covering everything from lighting to landscape photography, from portrait photography to sports, we have classes on wedding, automotive photography, shooting, food, fashion, travel, you name it. The most incredible part of this is the price. You get all of this for just $199 a year, or you can pay monthly for just $24.95. 24 hour a day, seven day a week access from anywhere in the world. I invite you to join with us today and start learning right now.